Thank you to our final patrons, Strawbones, Redville4765, Midnight Gemlord, Sean, and Art Goon. And a great big thank you to our $25 patron, Alex Ice Rose. Greetings, that guy with the pencil. Whoa, Azmuth, what are you... There is no time for questions, Mr. Tuguap. You need to choose. Choose what? Them. And before we hop into this breakdown on my own list of Omnitrix creatures, please do me a favor and leave your own list in the comments section down below. Leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Only you're at that little notification you're supposed to miss out on any videos that come to the channel. Also, also, I do a patient down below, in support for as low as one, count them one, dollar a month, click exclusive videos, early content, and more. You also now become a member of the channel for as low as three dollars a month to get the same perks and more. Now, let's hop into the discussion. What's up guys, Uncle here, and yeah, I was just gifted an Omnitrix. Unfortunately though, it seems to be limited to alien forms that only Prime Ben has, and even then, I'm only allowed to choose 10. That means I can't access any of the fusions, external series aliens, and unfortunately, I can't even use the Ink Tank's original Omnitrix aliens either, despite how much I want to. Maybe another time, another Omnitrix. On the bright side though, I can pick from all four series, but no reboot. Also, for some reason, I don't have access to Celestial Sapien, Primatosian A, or Chrono Sapien DNA. Oh well, let's pick 10. For number one, we're gonna start big. Way big. The Toku Star is not only a fan favorite species, but they are also a personal favorite to me. I still remember seeing Way Big for the first time in Secret of the Omnitrix and losing my good mind. So of course I had to include my big bulky boy. But on a utility front, why Way Big? Why part of my original 10, when I have transformations like Humongousaur, Wrath, Forearms, Armadrillo, Kickin' Hawk, and many other great strength species to use instead of Way Big, who's really, really big? Well, that's simple. It's because Way Big is the beefiest of them all. Unlike Ben, someone who would likely take it slow, if I need power, I'd like all of it nigh instantaneously if I can manage it. And Way Big provides that in spades. He is by far the largest natural alien out of Ben's roster, and arguably top 5 strongest. And don't get me wrong, using him in a general area would be rather annoying, I'd rather be safe than sorry. Fat chance of anyone throwing hands with me when I'm literally 120 feet tall. Two, his power is actually generally useful in any case of world destroying threats that happen to occur on Earth. Even ignoring the hypothetical supervillains who would appear as a natural response to me possessing the device, did you know that Earth went through a mass extinction event? Like one that wiped out all of the dinosaurs? Yeah, those meteors nearly glass Earth all the time. They usually miss, but in an arguably infinite universe, or at least a finite one that's very, very big, those meteors are rather abundant, and while Daddy Jupiter does soak up a lot of them, just in case, wouldn't it be nice if we had a guy who possessed the ability to transform into a creature that could actually bully that meteor and wipe it from existence? Or realistically, with how strong he is, just catch it. I think so. Way Big can easily match and react to beams that can annihilate Pluto in a matter of seconds, so I think he's doing pretty darn well. And just a quick FYI, and doing some quick mathematics, the life-wiping meteor that stat padded the dinosaurs was 12 kilometers wide. Pluto is 2,376.6 kilometers wide. Way Big can easily handle something 198 times the size of our life wiper. He's good. Three, he can just survive in space and hypothetically fly. Toku stars are born in space and they seem to be able to move there, so flight is very, very likely. The main reason this is useful is in case I need to move my powerhouse out of the atmosphere. Four, he's cool. It's way big. I want him. Five, I get a massive laser that can wipe planets from existence. Who's gonna stop me? But being realistic, I actually wouldn't use him all too much just because of the rarity of his viability, but he would be one I wouldn't hesitate to pull out if I need be. So yes, if you even think of attacking me and you are the lowest level of threat, you are getting stomped by a Toku star. In the Ben 10 verse, all the same logic applies, but extra. I am always round starting with way big against any threat I deem necessary, which would literally be any threat that appears to me that is beyond human level. Vilgat coming to get me? Thrown into space. Albedo wants to smoke? Thrown into space. Luma heard about your boy and wants to smoke? Thrown into space. Yes, I know. It is very drastic, and maybe too much of a reaction, but I don't care. However, from one of the largest aliens in the watch to a regular size one, let me introduce you to my speedster, 